their government. Let me tell I lying stupid. <laughs> don't know by now there's a worldwide pandemic the whole entire world has shut down people have lost their jobs and even if they haven't lost their jobs their paychecks have probably been cut businesses have been shut down people aren't making any money here is an accurate representation of my bank account before COVID-19 <laughs> here is an accurate representation of my bank account after COVID-19 I live in the British Virgin Islands, where the minimum wage is a lovely low number of $6 an hour. Someone working that salary probably makes between $1,200 to $1,500 per month. A one-bedroom apartment, on average, costs about $1,200 to $1,500 per month. That doesn't include groceries, water bill, light bill, Wi-Fi, and other expenses. COVID effectively put my business on halt. Unlike the government in the United States, we didn't have a stimulus package where everyone just got $1,200 just like that. Our government did offer a few different solutions, with one being a small business stimulus grant. Now this stimulus grant became available for applicants in August of 2020. In September of 2020, I received an email saying I was approved. We are now in January 2021. Why haven't I gotten my stimulus check yet? And trust me, I'm not the only one. I know a lot of people who are complaining about the same exact thing. Oh, don't worry, your check will be printed very soon. Bro, soon was four months ago. Well, if one of Brock just says something, but don't make me feel bad for begging you for money that is mine. Now, if you're watching this video and you don't work for the government, you can still help me out. I'm not asking for your money. Just hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, hit like, and leave me a comment. Matter of fact, leave me a prayer in your comment, please. And for all you people that are bashing and be like, oh, well, there's probably hundreds of thousands of people that are waiting on checks, and there's probably so many checks to be printed, and your turn just hasn't reached yet. Literally less than 2,000 people apply for these checks. This is an estimate of the BVI population before COVID-19 at approximately 30,000. I don't know why I wrote it like that. With a poverty rate of 22%, determined in the year 2003, 6,600 people. This is an estimate of the population of the BVI after COVID-19. Because I know after them lockdowns, everybody and them grandmother will breed and have babies. You might be thinking, well, Bunchy, you had a baby too. Yeah, but my baby was born before COVID, not after COVID. I am nasty people. Clearly my prediction of the growth of the BVI population is completely fake and was just for laughs. But still, it's a serious matter. There are people out there in poverty that are dying, that are sick, that can't afford food. My paycheck was cut in half through COVID and I was barely surviving. So imagine people who completely lost their jobs on a whole. I just wish that governments like ours and the United States and a few other countries in the world would come up with actual real plans and go through with it. Shout out to the few countries that actually did good by their citizens and are handling this pandemic like a boss. Anyways, that's all for this video. It was pretty much a rant. If you made it this far, I appreciate it. Consider leaving me a comment and a like. Make sure you subscribe, share my videos with your friends and peace out.